I still go back to the Rams situation. And, I, you know, I, I can't nail it down and say that it's, it's a report, but, I mean, he, that was right there for him. Before they went and got Stafford, if you would have said to Sean McVay, we can get Rodgers. Or you can get Sean McVay. Or you can get uh, Matthew Stafford. Whoa, well, you're going to take Rodgers. I mean, you're going to take Rodgers, but you're also, I'll give you a little caveat. You know that you might not get him as long as Stafford. You know, that's the one other thing we got to remember, too. It seems like Stafford's been playing since 1974, but he's only 32 years old. You know, that's what's amazing about him. He's got a long way in front of him. But yes, I think they do take Rodgers. If that's like a yes, you can have either one. I would think McVay does it. But I think it goes back to the conversation we just had a little bit, Dan. I don't think Green Bay was really ready at that time to get into trade talks and really go all in on it and do those type of things. So McVay had to do what was best like available right now, a sure thing. And that was Stafford. Of course, he had the relationship with Brad Holmes up there who had just left the Rams to become the new GM of the Detroit Lions. And he wanted to get rid of Jared Goff as well in the process. Exactly. That was a big thing. No doubt, Dan. You can't are forget you, that. Are you all in on the Rams? I don't I don't know if I've got you on record. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm all I'm all in on the Rams. I mean, yeah. No, I expect, you're not all in on the Rams. You pause. I haven't like figured out who I'm gonna pick to win divisions and do all of that. Yes. Listen, I love the Rams football team. Of course, I think that offense is going to be better with Matthew Stafford and all the things that he can do, let alone now McVay can expand what he wants to call because of the things Stafford can do. I am in it. But here's my one issue why I'm like hesitant. You know, I, they're an all-star team. It's, it's 22 players. There's not a lot of depth on their team. So I always worry about that with the Rams. They've dodged that bullet the last few years, but they're a little like the Falcons, except they've dodged that bullet where you go, Man, the starting 22 is good, but if they lose three or four players, they're screwed and they won't be the same football team. And that's what I do worry about them. And especially, I mean, as you know, the NFC West, I mean, come on. It's sick how good that division is right now.